Building the Future, a look at America's Brightline High Speed Railroad. The future of passenger rail in America will be served by Brightline, a new private railway in Florida that focuses on a more conventional real estate strategy combined with a new, more streamlined form of customer experience. With regard to all of its operations, Brightline has a lot to offer. Florida has been the location of Brightline, but now it is finally growing. Recent events have given the green light for the start of Brightline West, a new Brightline expansion on the west coast of the United States. To learn more about America's Brightline High Speed Railroad, continue watching the video. To stay up with the latest transit and infrastructure news, subscribe to our channel Grand Projects. And also don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever new videos are posted. With the help of Brightline, traveling between Miami, Aventura, Fort Lauderdale, Boca Raton, and West Palm Beach is now a breeze. Currently, the privately sponsored multi-billion dollar rail service whisks travelers between these important cities at 79 miles per hour on fancy trains that run on clean biodiesel fuel while giving friendly first-rate service all the way, a rarity in travel these days. Currently, Brightline connects three significant cities, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and West Palm Beach, as well as the two smaller towns of Aventura and Boca Raton. At the time of publication, there were 18 trains per day running between Miami and West Palm Beach, with seven of those trains stopping in Fort Lauderdale and 11 more making stops in Aventura, Fort Lauderdale, and Boca Raton. The journey takes 17 minutes between Miami and Aventura, 30 minutes between Miami and Fort Lauderdale, 16 minutes between Fort Lauderdale and Boca Raton, and 35 minutes between Fort Lauderdale and West Palm Beach. These time frames are less than half as long as the average automobile trip, and around one-third if the rush hour is taken into consideration. Through Brightline, Brightline provides door-to-door -door service in addition to providing transportation from one station to the next. There are two phases to the high-speed rail project. Fort Lauderdale serves as the conduit in the first phase to connect Miami and West Palm Beach. The line will be 378 kilometers long in total. For 314 kilometers of the route, already existing lines will be utilized, while the final 64 kilometers will be brand new. In the heart of downtown Miami Central, a new station with a 479,160 square feet footprint is being being constructed. The station will offer apartments, offices, distinctive retail options, standard meals, and entertainment. A pleasant lounge is housed at the 60,000 square foot Fort Lauderdale station. Additionally, it features a brand new park and ride facility that is 218,204 square feet in size and can accommodate 576 vehicles. There is room for new construction at the 60,000 square feet West Palm Beach station. The railway line will be extended from West Palm Beach to Orlando as part of the Brightline High Speed Rail Project's second phase. It will also involve the construction of a new track spanning 170 miles between South Florida and Orlando. Before we continue the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel Grand Projects for more amazing content like this. At the South Intermodal Center of Orlando International Airport, work is now being done on the Orlando station. Additionally, it will offer linkages to the upcoming automated people mover and sun rail projects, both of which are in the planning stages. Brightline's high-speed rail project is still in the planning stages for its third phase. Between Orlando International Airport and Tampa, it will have a rail route that is 85 miles long. On this line, trains are anticipated to move at a speed of 125 miles per hour. New tracks were laid between the Miami and West Palm Beach portions to start the project's construction in the middle of 2014. Construction on the new station began in October 2014 after the current structure at the location of the Fort Lauderdale station was torn down. The station's exterior structure was finished in September 2017 and the inside was constructed in the second half of the same year. Four zones are involved in the construction of Phase 2, the first of which contains 70 acres of development close to the Orlando International Airport and the Virgin Trains Vehicle Maintenance Facility, which is located south of the airport. 
A 3.5 acre part of the airport is included in Zone 2, and Zone 3 contains a rail track that runs 35 miles along the Highway 528 corridor between Orlando International Airport and Coco. In Zone 4, the existing Class 4 track will be upgraded to Class 6, allowing trains to run at up to 110 miles per hour and covering 129 miles of rail. With one selection and three smart coaches, the coaches offer two distinct experiences. The seats on the chosen coaches measure 21 inches wide and they also come with free food and beverages. The seats on the smart coaches measure 19 inches broad. Two diesel electric locomotives and four carriages made of stainless steel make up each train. The locomotives are propelled by 16-cylinder Cummins QSK95 engines, each of which is capable of producing four thousand horsepower. The top speed of the Brightline trains is more than 200 kilometers per hour. The engine is EPA Tier 4 compliant, emits extremely low levels of noise and pollutants, and uses the least amount of fuel. In 2014, Siemens USA and All Aboard Florida entered into a deal for the purchase of five train sets. In December 2016, the first train set was delivered, and in December 2017, the final train set was handed over. The QSK95 engines for the locomotives will be provided by Cummins under the contract. The Rockwell Group was in charge of designing the train set's interiors. In April 2015, GE Transportation received a contract to supply the high-speed rail services signaling system. For the nine-acre multimodal station that is being developed in downtown Miami, All Aboard Florida hired Suffolk Construction to provide pre-construction and construction management services. Adashi Group and Moss and & Associates were given the job of constructing the Fort Lauderdale station. For the provision of clean biodiesel to power the trains, Brightline has teamed up with Florida Power & Light Company. Under the terms of the two-year arrangement, FPL will provide more than 2 million gallons of fuel annually that is blended with biodiesel. Wharton Smith, the Middlesex Corporation, Hubbard Construction Company, Granite, and HSR Constructors are the contractors involved in Phase 2. For the 50 million people who presently travel by car or air between Orlando and South Florida, the new express service will provide a different means of mobility. It will make it possible for passengers to travel from downtown Miami to downtown Fort Lauderdale in about 30 minutes, from Miami to West Palm Beach in 60 minutes, and from Miami to Orlando in roughly three hours. During development, the project is anticipated to generate over 10,000 jobs, and once operating, it will generate 5,000 jobs on average annually. That's all for today. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Also, express your valuable thoughts in the comments section below. Until then, bye! Also, spend some time watching other videos on the channel.